So I've been living um, on Maui for six years now. Um, I definitely consider myself a fruit forager. I've grown three pineapples successfully um, just outside my front door and I even have a pineapple tattoo. That said, I had learned so much on my pineapple tour and I wanted to share some of that information with you. Um, one of my key takeaways was just uh, being able to tell if a pineapple is ripe or not. Um, so I always used to just pull the leaves off the top and if they came out easily and it was orange, um, it was ripe. But I learned a couple more tricks. So um, we can knock on the pineapple and if it sounds hollow, that's a good sign. Um, you want a firm base. If that feels firm, it's a good sign. Um, at least half of the pineapple should be an orange color. Half can still be green and it'll still be nice and sweet and ripe. Um, and then again, just pulling the leaves off the top and making sure that they come in, out easily. So now that we can tell that the pineapple is um, ripe and ready to eat, um, I have always cut off the crown, cut off the top of the pineapple, um, which I learned is not the best way to do that. Um, and um, so what we can do is actually turn the pineapple upside down and just twist it and the top comes right off. Don't even need a knife. Um, one other thing, the base of the pineapple is the sweetest part. So uh, we can actually spread that sweetness to the entire pineapple before we eat it, just by twisting off the crown, putting it on a plate, and putting it into um, the refrigerator for about four hours, and all of that sweetness from the base um, it spreads throughout the pineapple. So you get sweet flavor um, throughout the entire fruit. So those are some fun tips um, when working with your pineapple, choosing the right one, and getting the most flavor out of it.